Welcome back. If you're just joining the series, you may consider watching the setup video so you're ready to keep coding and learning. In this video, we will begin to learn the styling language for the web, CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Check the video description for a link to an article with the video transcript and code samples from this lesson. To begin this lesson, open our project in VS Code. If you are just joining us, you can download the starter project to catch up. See the link in the video description. In the terminal, type the start command, npm run start, to run the project. Then go to the browser and update the URL to include slash semantic-layout.html. Now, on this page, the h1 is purple. The reason is that the starter package shipped with a CSS file, and the one rule defined is specifying that when the browser finds an h1, it should make the color purple. Back in VS Code, let's open semantic-layout.html. In the head, one of the tags present is a link tag with an href attribute, and that is pointing to our CSS file named style.css. This method of including CSS is called linking to an external style sheet. There are two other ways to include CSS, but this is the generally preferred method, so we'll start here. Now let's open the style.css file. The one rule present demonstrates the most basic way to style an element, which is to use the tag name. Again, in this case, it's targeting the h1. Each group within a CSS file that defines styles for HTML elements are called rules. All CSS rules have three parts. The selector is the part that comes prior to the curly braces and identifies which element or elements should use the rule. The property, which is color in this rule, and is a defined list based on browser support. The value, which is what the property is set to, in this case, Rebecca Purple. Each property and value pairing are separated by a colon and must end with a semicolon to be valid CSS for the browser to interpret and use. Let's add two more properties to practice. After the color definition, we'll add definitions for font size and font family. First, we'll set font size to 40 pixels, and then font family to sans serif. Save and see the change in the browser. There are over 250 CSS properties available for use. Throughout the next lessons, we will continue to learn and build upon your knowledge of CSS properties to handle common styling scenarios. Stay tuned for the next video where we will learn about CSS layout and the box model. Be sure to subscribe. And if you're interested in early access to the final course videos and other future perks, support this project on Patreon. The link is in the video description.